Hey, what's up everybody? This video is for all of my patrons, my $10 patrons. Um, I'm just gonna give you an updated Poptugi character model um, just because I wanna keep making it uh, better to use. And also for people who are my patrons, um, just wanna let you know, anytime you become a patron, you'll get this character. Um, it was a bonus character in January, but I realized that everybody's gonna always want the character creator. So I thought this was a good incentive for everybody to uh, join up. But also, I just think that it's uh, a really good place to start. Unfortunately, you can't get the other January rewards, all of the other the characters and special effects, but just want to let you know, this guy will always be available. Um, so first, I wanted to show you the improvements really quick for the people who have used this. Um, so the first thing you'll notice is that now on the older model um, you'd have to go and change the sleeves and the tops to get a new look for the top and now I have a smart bone just like the female character um, from this month is just one smart bone so it'll go from short sleeves to long sleeve um, it has all of the variations and uh, added a couple more things there's uh, no shirt and also added a uh, biker leather jacket uh, the sci-fi armor that I'll show you here in a second um, suit jacket with a collared shirt uh, same with a tie and different sleeves and also the same with the bottom um, we now have bare feet uh, if you want to use long pants you'll just need to readjust those points but they're like that so they fit the uh, shoes, the dress shoes and the sneakers and the boots. So that's why they look like that, but it's easy to um, just readjust those. Uh, but the pants and the shoes all change at the same time now also. And again, um, now I have just underwear, so if you want your character to go to swimming or whatever, you can just set it like this really quick. And also, uh, if you have a top on, uh, where's the plain t-shirt like this, um, also t-shirt designs, um, not, n nothing really special, just some artwork that you can add to your character. So you just uh, um, can add more here to t-shirt graphics. If we go inside the t-shirt graphics and do a new vector layer, let's go to frame zero. So I'll just add something like the WWE logo. And I'll just draw that really quick. And let me let's change the color here. Dark gray. So I made a W. And copy and paste. So you can make anything that you want for your t-shirt graphics obviously, uh, but I'm just going to show you how to bind it really quick. And make that little swoosh that's behind it. And move it behind, hit Q, place it on the back. Kind of looks like that. <clears throat> So once you have a logo, just select all, place it where you want. You might want to squish it so it looks more uh, in perspective. Then I'm going to hit uh, B. I'm going to select this middle torso bone, command A, so you have the bone and all the points selected and just bind. So that way when you're animating your character and you have one of the t-shirt designs on, it just moves with your shirt. So if I switch this, you'll see that, oops back um, t-shirt designs here oh if, if you have a smart bone action which I do for the shirts you're gonna have to go in and add it to it so um, under pop Tugi, go to window actions and we have t-shirt designs so all you have to do to add this is here's the uh, turn for the smart bone action. I'm just gonna move this keyframe over one and then go to the t-shirts and graphics and then right here on this last one 
we're just going to uh, select that WWE. Oops. One more over. Right click WWE. So now we have that. You can see all the other designs that I have here. And there's that last one and double click back into the timeline. And now you see that under t-shirt designs you have that uh, WWE down here also. And you can keep adding more and more. So those are some of the improvements there. Um, then if we go into the face bone layer, um, one of the big problems with the Poptugi character creator was that uh, for headgear and facial accessories and stuff, uh, you'd have to turn off invisibility or turn it on inside the layers, which was kind of stupid on my part. So now I just made a switch layer that has none <coughs> or nothing in it. So if you're uh, wanting to go back to nothing, you just turn your smart bone all the way back to the left. But as you can see now, you don't have to do anything over in layers. You can just turn here, turn stuff on. Facial accessories, same thing. Hairstyles is there. Facial hair can go back to uh, nothing. And um, really, really easy to, uh, just a little easier to create those characters um, without having to go into the layers and do anything special. Um, <clears throat> the other thing I wanted to show you guys is that now that I have uh, I created this sci-fi armor right here. Uh, tops and bottoms. Go into the face. I have a helmet. It's pretty horrible, but it works. There's actually even a little animation for there's a jetpack um, behind the character, so you can see that it kind of um, is shooting a blue flame. But the really cool thing that I wanted to show you is that even though this character looks like it has a lot of different colors of gray, um, there's actually just one base color for the armor. And uh, this can be used for a lot of different things, cars, shoes, uh, buildings, just um, you can add highlights and shadows and then just change one color. So if I go to the styles and change the armor color and uh, you can see that it changes the tint or the shadows still stay the same so it looks like there's a bunch of different uh, greens in this one um, but it's really uh, a big time saver I think uh, and the way this is done is there's a uh, one style for the color and then I have new shapes applied to the tops of certain shapes that have black opacity um, set at different uh, levels to make it look like there's different colors of blue or whatever color you have. So it's really easy to change um, colors really fast with that set. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, for this character, it's going to be in the file also. Um, you can just change the skin tone like to black and just to make it look like he has gloves. Um, and oh the waist still has the pants color so I can just change that to black and I just got kind of storm trooper vibe going on there um, then the other thing I wanted to show you guys too is that uh, <clears throat> turn his skin tone back take the helmet off Um, the other thing that I wanted to show you guys really quick is that um, there are actions. Some people don't know that there's a few uh, pre-made actions that you guys can uh, mess with and use. So let me show you here really quick. Let me select all these bones. Let me reset it. So. <clears throat> For those of you who don't know what actions are, I'm going to go to the main bone layer and actions. And under the regular tab, you'll notice a few things. Um, so if I'm in the timeline anywhere and I select walk and I can insert a copy, um, it'll just add keyframes for you. So this character will start walking 
uh, just by adding this uh, action. I can undo that. I also have a run. Uh, doing the same thing, insert a copy. And it'll add a run. Oh, I don't know why I did it way over there. But you can see it just added keyframes for you automatically. Uh, and there's just a couple other ones. Ninja Run is <laughs> is just the way that anime characters run with their arms in the behind them. I don't know. I just thought it was kind of funny, so I just added that also. And um, what's another one? Uh, just a little jump, just so you can see how it's made. I don't know why it's not putting it in the right place, but you still can grab all the keyframes and just move them wherever you want. Um, and angry point. Uh, just check out my tutorial on actions to see how these actually work. You can make um, as many as you like of your own. Um, but there's also uh, some actions within the face. So just keep that in mind. Surprised uh, eye roll. If you add that in, you'll see it adds this little. Uh, let me zoom in so you can see it. It just adds that animation in automatically without you having to uh, do all that. Um, and there's some that are combos, like the angry point. Um, if you'll notice. I'm on the uh, main body bone layer. And if I add that in, it's going to add in the movement on the body, and then it also does uh, some stuff to the face. That's because I have a few keyframes in the bone layer of the face. So just keep that in mind. If you want to get rid of them, you have to delete them on both bone layers. Um, but again, uh, for those of you new to this character, um, I'll add a walk cycle in again. And go to frame one. And I can completely change this character. Uh, let's make it an old timey. Where's this suit? Suit and tie. Oops. Long sleeves. There we go. Go to the face, let's give him a bowler hat. Maybe a monocle. Or glasses. Not a monocle. <clears throat> Leave his hair short. Give him that old time handlebar mustache. Um, change his nose. Like that. I can change the style of the uh, his skin. Let's go to... <coughs> Make his skin a little lighter. Change his shirt. Let's do uh, brown. Make his pants. Let's make his pants match his hat. So I'll go ahead and left click and drag over his hat just to change his pants color to the same exact color. And then change the. Uh, stroke to be a little darker <laughs> and let's change his shoes make those dark brown and uh, shoe accent or shoe color one I think changes the bottom yeah like that so now we have a completely different looking character. Uh, where is this? Let's change it. Let's make him Irish. Change his hair color. Make it kind of red also. There we go. <clears throat> so you'll notice I just changed that character completely. And that walk cycle that we had in there, um, he'll start walking automatically even though he looks completely different. Uh, but it's the same exact character. <clears throat> so, just wanted to let you guys know about the changes. Um, 
And if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below or contact me on Facebook or Patreon. And um, again, if you want to see how to save out characters that you've made, um, there's another tutorial for that. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.